Okay. Sorry, everyone. I think we're on only 13 minutes late, so bear with me. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is the second episode of the Meet, this, Meet the Synchronian series, um, series designed to kind of give Synchro users a, a space to share, you know, uh, their, their successes, their challenges, um, their stories in, in the end. Um, but we, we're switching it up a little bit today. We have all an all Bentley cast. We have Daria Kosmala, user success manager at Virtuosity. We also have Maria Protasova from who is a senior consultant at Synchro, and, and myself, Nick Sanders, a product sales engineer on the on the Synchro team. Um, the reason we're switching it up for this one is we just want to take the opportunity to showcase some new technology, uh, the integration between Synchro 4D, which I, I can safely assume that most of you tuning in have heard of, and another Bentley application, Luminati, which is you know a visualization application for for infrastructure projects or and applications. Um, but firstly, uh, I, I might hand it over to Daria to give a little bit more of a well-rounded introduction to herself, and then we'll go from there. So, hi everyone. Hi. My name is Daria and I'm a user success manager here in Virtuosity. I'm supporting our users with uh, tailored trainings and many of them were deeply interested in Human RT, Synchro or for the integration. That's why we have asked uh, Maria to dig a little bit more in detail so that she shows us the, the workflow. And uh, I hope it will be beneficial to all of you. Uh, and let's move to Maria. Let, uh, as the title of our series is Mid the Synchronians, so I'd like to ask her to say at the beginning a few words about herself, her background, and how she has found herself in this industry. And then move to the topic uh, of uh, integration. But first, let's introduce Maria. Thanks, Darren. Um, like probably uh, uh, most of you like uh, 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 have been working with me before, or I met uh, definitely lots of you. So it's uh, uh, th thanks for joining. Uh, my background is uh, civil engineering. I joined Bentley in uh, June 2018. Um, during uh, Synchro acquisition. Um, before that, um, I uh, worked in Synchro Software Limited uh, as a part of a project delivery team and uh, was uh, responsible in implementation of Synchro across the globe, as well as um, conducting training and supporting uh, uh, development uh, working with uh, our developers um, and uh, so my total experience like uh, around 12 years um, working on large uh, projects including ITER and Battersea Power Station in London and uh, and others. So let's start um, our webinar and um, today we are talking about uh, how to uh, use Luminar T for your synchro uh, project, synchro animation. Yeah, when we want to create high spec videos, and we, I, I know there was so many requests before, like uh, to to uh, make it much easier to create three D parts, to add people and other effects inside of synchro. So now it's possible. I'm I'm very very happy about that. And um, uh, I hope after that a small session, uh, all of you will be able to uh, to use Luminar T. Yeah, so that's how it is. It is. So uh, let's start. Uh, we need um, to, uh, to like uh, first of all to be able to uh, um, render your animation with Luminar T. You need to have the latest Synchro version. Yeah, so. Uh, in in like 
one month's time or, or, or somewhere in June, uh, you probably uh, heard that the new reels will be coming. That's that's very exciting, including LumenRT uh, new release. So there will be lots of uh, new features, but um, Synchro is working uh, the version 6.3. So remember you go to help uh, about, um, and make sure that uh, you're running uh, the version uh, not lower than that, yeah, 6.3. Um, so 6.3 is integrated with iModel Hub. That's how this integration works through iModel Hub. So first, uh, to uh, work with Illuminati, we need to uh, create our iModel. So you go to uh, construction.bentley.com, uh, login into uh, uh, this page and create a project. I um, created uh, some details. It's actually very easy to register a project. You just uh, uh, give a name, um, you select your time zone and your project location. Uh, you probably, if you don't have at the moment access, you can register a demo project. That's gonna work as well with Illuminar-T. Yeah, I just added uh, this detail already in order that don't um, don't uh, uh, waste time. And um, uh, that's how it looks when, when you created your uh, eye model. Um, registered your project. So now we need to create an iModel itself. For that, you go to Administrator, Manage iModel, and uh, today we are going to create an iModel uh, from um, SP file. Yeah. So uh, make sure you tick this box, uh, set up this model for scheduling services, and just drag and drop your SP file. So that's um, very easy to do. I have a ESP file and you can add a password if you want, create. And then you will upload your uh, SP file into cloud uh, and uh, it will run a few updates and you're ready to go. Yeah, the next step what you need to do is uh, make sure that you add yourself as a user. So I will add, uh, for example, like myself. Yeah, I will give um, myself role. You can add uh, other people um, and uh, the entire list of users will have access, depends on their role as well. So now, now we have an I model. Um, I'm going to use preloaded I model, right? I just wanted to show you the step uh, it just because um, it, 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 it takes, like you can see, it's still synchronizing, deploying the project. It usually takes for a small project, maybe like four or five minutes, it depends. But uh, I don't want to uh, wait. That's why I preloaded into a separate file, a separate model. It says here, demo building. That's what we are going to use. Okay, but that's the same absolutely file and the same process. So to review our I uh, model in Synchro, we go to file and connect to this uh, project through um, control page. I need uh, to uh, approve uh, the access. And in this window, the list of all my projects that I have access to uh, will appear. Yeah, so you also can see uh, there is, uh, um, that's what I just created. I'm gonna use uh, demo building. Yeah, so now I'm connected to my iModel and all my changes updates will be saved in the cloud. Uh, I'm gonna use for this uh, exercise simple model, but uh, you probably seen like a, we posted before quite a complex real uh, like projects. Um, I just want to keep it quite simple today. So what we need to know about uh, how, how we set up uh, our uh, files to work with Illuminar-T. Um, 
in LuminarT, we don't have a particular 3D filter like we have in Synchro. Uh, there is a way to hide geometry, but it will take a little bit longer than in Synchro. So generally, I, uh, I would prefer not to have floating geometry that you usually hide by unticking the box or by applying 3D filter. Yeah, so you have to delete them um, or, or um, you can do that in LuminarT, but it will take a little bit longer. Then you, LuminarT won't import your synchro animation. It will import your timeline. So make sure that your timeline is correct. So you can play your animation. You can um, check your um, 3D pass because it's all will be imported into LuminarT. You just can play the timeline or make it a little bit like a walk one week. Yeah, so all these colors, like uh, appearance profile colors, will be imported into LuminarT and saved. Yeah, so make sure that uh, you're happy. Generally, if you made a change in uh, your uh, synchro file, then it's all going to be synchronized back to iModel, and LuminarT will pick up all these changes. Yeah, so uh, that's... that's um, like you just need to wait to, to, to synchronize. You can check that uh, in list of synchro uh, transactions. It will say when it's synchronized. Yeah. So it, it's not like instant, instant, but it's quite quick. Depends again on your data. So if you're happy with your um, models, we go to Lumen RT. Yeah, in uh, when I open uh, my luminarity, here I have the scene of the project that I worked on before or open. Like you can just, uh, that's a recent one. Um, the first time you you need to select uh, iModel Hub. And when you select it, the list of all uh, projects that you have access to will uh, pop up. Again, I just need to enter my credentials. Uh, it's I need to do that like um, I think once. I just wanna uh, show you. Otherwise, uh, LuminarT will remember your project's recent one, and you don't need to enter all the time. So I connect to my iModel Hub, and in uh, uh, in the projects, you can see the list of the projects that uh, um, been working on. So I will go back to to my uh, saved one. Open. Yeah, it it just will open it quicker. It's, it doesn't. It will remember everything. That's why I just did that. So what? Um, what first we need to know that's our model and you can see there is no uh timeline right like um so you need to go to calendar yeah calendar is here and in date there is a timeline so i usually i um i remember or write it down the exact dates what i want to export in order that um uh, go through that um because um it just easier. My animation will be completed, I think, in uh, August 2016. Uh, most of you know that uh, project. Um, so that's my that's my building, right? I paid. So if if I go like in March, you can you can uh, see the sequence. Basically, to to play the whole sequence like we do in Synchro, you need to create an. Uh, animation that's what we are going to do the, it actually will pick up the timeline but without without um uh, keyframes yeah so we will need to adjust the keyframes but let's do step by step so uh, the first uh, what uh, i want you to focus it's a terrain so it depends like if if it's a water project that's amazing you can add the water with all effects and um it's going to be like um uh, here we don't have that uh, so i'm not gonna uh 
like uh, demonstrate that, but you can adjust your terrain manually, or you can load a pre-existing one. So if it's like a town, just use a simple um, uh, terrain. Yeah, also you can adjust the height. Um, the next, the next thing, what I want to show you, uh, I mentioned uh, about uh, how to hide your geometry. Yeah? So here in settings, you have uh, your structure. That's our models and came. And you can see they have layers. Yeah, uh, And you can see synchro layer and other layer. So you can create a layer, a new one at, like, and uh, for example, let's say delete. And then you have to re change the layer of your geometry that you want to hide. And uh, when you um, change the layer to this geometry, you just can untick this box and this object will disappear. Yeah, that's how you hide geometry that you don't want into your video. Um, as I mentioned, it, it, uh, you literally need to select uh, the whole structure, the leaf level, yeah, like, like in, and change, uh, change uh, uh, the layer here, the color to like to delete that I created. Yeah. So if if it's a detailed object, then then it might take a while. If it's a, like one single object, that's easy to do. So you know your your models better, and you make a decision how to best uh, to proceed. Also, you can add the um, text um, in your animation. For example, um, you can just add a time, add a date, or you can create a certain text like you can adjust your position you can adjust size you can add colors all that uh, settings are quite clear yeah so the next thing um what i think you will be interested in is textures you can apply textures in illuminar t so you just select your uh, geometry uh, and you can use uh, um, Luminar T library or apply your own textures. Uh, for example, I'm gonna adjust, uh, add uh, the grass and here actually there are lots of um, properties. So you can make a uh, change the height of the grass, uh, density. Um, yeah, so it looks like quite, quite nice. Um, and you can uh, go through whole uh, textures and apply. So if like uh, also uh, if some textures came uh, even uh, with DWF, uh, you might don't like how they look. So uh, you can adjust them here or reapply them. Uh, the next thing uh, what um, I want to show you um, that's a fun thing, how to add um, your plants. So um, you can add, there are quite uh, lots of objects. Also, you can import some objects. You can import even some animations through Blender by using uh, formats like FBX um, and, um, or DAE. Um, and uh, Luminar T will, will remember your, your animation. So if you want a detailed animation of like a, a tower crown tau crane uh, picking up the object and place it somewhere like then you can do that uh, so uh, you select the object and then you um, just uh, add them like like almost like in computer game yeah um, or you can use the brush to make it quick yeah and again you can adjust the size so if you have like a forest, you can just make a big uh, br brush, uh, flow and type of trees. So I'll just add a few. Yeah, also you can uh, uh, populate with the line across the line. And in this case, you need to enter the distance like every three meters, for example, like, like that. Yeah. So, um, and again, there are lots of set settings uh, like uh, that you can adjust the distance, yeah, the type of trees. Uh, the next thing um, is uh, people, of course, people or even animals. Um, you can add different type of uh, people, including uh, construction workers. Um, I'm going to just add them. 
uh, a few uh, people on the roads. So first you select which, uh, which type of um, character you want to add. I selected a few. Um, and then again, you can populate them with a brush or uh, add a, a pass, like the same like you do, do with uh, 3D pass. Um, yes. So when I select them, Illuminar T will uh, uh, download. You can see on like it's, she's jogging, so I can um, I can add uh, uh, again a line or add, um, and uh, add some some uh, properties or. Or what I prefer is to use a 3D pass, like, yeah, so you, you just draw, it's quite easy to draw the line. Let's see here. Uh, double click, and then you need to uh, pr press just button play. Yeah, uh, so if you zo I zoom in, you can see how people like it's uh, quite busy, like lots of um, people exercising. Yeah, so you can adjust tightness, density, uh, density and um, again, make it like, for example, one pass and uh, adjust uh, by adjusting the settings. You need always to uh, press this button play and you can see it will change. You can also add different type of uh, characters. Um, and same like with trees, you can just populate them in certain areas, like when they talking, uh, with or lying, or swimming, with different actions based on what you want to. So the next, uh, what we want to add is uh, cards. So if uh, looking at the library, um, the at the moment. Uh, uh, construction library is not massive, but uh, in new release there should be ad added some new uh, objects. And uh, Luminarty will always remember um, your Synchra objects that were animated inside of Synchra. Yeah. So again, I I pick up some of the uh, cards already, and it's it's again you can just populate them by like a uh, like a into parking uh, or um you can uh, create a, a name with 3d pass like because you're familiar what is a 3d pass yeah sometimes sometimes it's uh it can crash uh you need a quite good uh, laptop as well don't uh, um you, you're all familiar with that like as a synchro users um it will if you save the button yeah press save it will remember that so you don't need to redo that so again, let's uh, go back. I will just pick up a few cards, not not uh, not a lot. Mm -hmm. And add uh, so some of the uh, yeah. Just just pick up a few one. Uh, I find it like when you have too many uh, objects selected at the same time, it uh, it uh, it can crash for me more often. Uh, but when you do it like uh, again, you can have a, a st standing object, or you can uh, uh, create a, a pass as we did with uh, people like. So you can animate car by car, like with. Uh, with a line or you can um, use a 3d pass 
so it's quite um, simple to do. So again, you can adjust the uh, the size of your lanes, how many you like, or make just one tightness. Again, play the button, and you can see the movement. Also, you can always uh, just uh, select your uh, pass and adjust the frames by moving them. It's quite simple. Yeah. Uh, the next thing. The next thing, what, uh, uh, you, well, that's that's for your uh, interiors. Like you can add them, or you can might want to animate your traffic. You can add uh, uh, different um, objects. Uh, um, yeah, like you can see, like lights, benches. So depends what 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 is your project about. You can add. Uh, more equipment also you can adjust slide and uh, you can save images and uh, the final thing what i want to show is uh, how to uh, create an animation so if you go to a movie editor uh, here you can see uh, two uh, frames and you can see the date right it says uh, 4th of january and 25th of january that's a kind of uh, um, uh, date zero where your project started and the end of your timeline. So and uh, Luminarty bring the whole the whole timeline. And if I play it now, that's how it brought it. Uh, you can see it's going to be one minute, but um, it doesn't um, it doesn't bring viewpoints from Synchro. So what we need to do, we need to adjust the first viewpoint. That's uh, for example beginning. Yeah. So once we adjusted it, you can you can just uh, press this uh, 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 frame the button and it will remember it. Um, so if I play it now, you can see that's that's like you have cars. Unfortunately, we don't have trees and people, but uh, I mean I could add add them like it. Yeah, and you can see the whole animation is playing. Um, you can uh, add as many keyframes as you want with all rotations and uh, you can add cutting flames as well if you want to show some internal uh, um, works inside of your building um, and uh, you can delete them for example that one uh, uh, you, there is an icon bin you just can press it and uh, and delete it so to export or to save this animation you need to press this button action and uh, it's that's one quite impressive because it takes uh, it's very quick even like for large projects um, uh, to to export the animation for example like you can create a really high quality videos here you can see the resolution is really high uh, you can add as we do sometimes in synchro the picture folder or just a movie like i usually use uh, uh, mpg4 uh, super fine quality and you can also make it panorama so like 360 uh, um, view like and uh, select the range of uh, the video like do you want to export the whole uh, or just a certain um, uh, and uh, i'm gonna just uh, select um, my folder where to remember that. Um, that's, that's, that's one. Uh, standard, all frames. I will just export, like, um, let's say, uh, to, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. And now you actually can see, like, that's export and um, it doesn't take long at all yeah um, I, I just always can press escape and uh, it will uh, save the recording that uh, only one thing I, I also wanted to show you can adjust your your uh, let me just quickly add the tree trees again um, you can adjust your season you can adjust your light so if I put here 
trees and uh, go back to this window sun and you can adjust your time you can adjust your season so if you want to uh, you can see winter, summer, spring. Uh, you can adjust your uh, cloud movement uh, and general weather, like uh, make it more clear sky or cloudy, all these type of things, yeah. And add wind, so in your animation, all trees will be like really, uh, you can see the wind and uh, moving. And you can add birds as well flying around your, uh, projects um, yeah I think uh, if you if you want to review I mean it's going to be a very small um, uh, animation that I uh, just exported but um, I suppose it's uh, it's quite uh, straightforward on our uh, channel you can see like some samples that we did before um, uh, Maria, we have a couple questions coming through. One is to do with uh, the size of the the animation export when li using Lumina T. I mean, can you t talk in terms of, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, really good quality animation. About like I, I I'm I'm talking about like really good quality. About three hundred megabytes I export, but you can go lower. It depends again what you want to do with uh, with that. Like so, it's uh, generally it's much smaller than than uh, sync exports. Okay, we have another question from Michael. He's wondering what file types the equipment and cars and these other kind of objects are that are. Uh, I guess what he's trying to get is can they be export imported as well, or are they you can import FBX. I mean, generally the library, right? Like, uh, as I know from Luminar T development team, they are open to animate some objects for you. So if you have a library of uh, equipment that you, you want to use, they can add it for you because it's kind of it's tested. It's uh, it's um, it's easier. But you can add FBX and. Uh, um, and uh, uh, actually, actually, you can you can add some more equipment, but you can't animate them unless it's FBX, if it makes sense. So if you import FBX from Blender, you it will contain animation, so the object will be moving, and Luminarity will support. But if you import like DWF crane, it just will stay there, and that's it. Okay. It's not going to move like. Okay. I mm -hmm. think that answers. Uh, Narciso's question as well. He had a similar question regarding uh, Enscape in Revit. If Enscape objects in my Revit model, will I have to? Uh, will I be able to pull them into Synchro and then Luminar T? I guess the same rules apply. For uh, that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You can do that. That's. Okay. Uh... There's also one from Robert saying, "Does this carry over growth animations from Synchro?" Yes, it does. Even uh, somewhere here, I have. Um, I don't remember the date, but we can just maybe we can. Yeah. Um, yeah man, man Deep has a question, which uh, he's asking: Can you show the different seasons through the timeline? So, if it spans six to twelve months, can you, you know, show the different, you know, summer through winter seasons in in the animation? Um, about trees, I actually, I'm not sure. I mean, I can uh, ask the development. I'm, I I don't think so, but uh, I, like, but I can ask the development team, but you can show, um, you can show, you, you can show like uh, different lights and colors. And uh, I don't think, well, actually might be like, to be honest, um, to be honest, um, uh, uh, I, I, I will message you, okay? Yeah, to confirm. Yeah, I think you can actually. Can you know, if you, if I yeah. jump in, I, I saw Luminar T animation when the seasons were changing, so they, so I'm uh, pretty sure it's technically possible. Mm -hmm, so they know, the, they know, like, um. Um, I haven't tried that myself, but I think they know what how you need to do that. So if you go to viewpoint. Yeah, uh, you can uh, adjust it. Like you can see now, it's it's uh, uh, green, 
and um, now if I play um, my animation well he, if I go to this viewpoint which is the 6th of March well I need to swap them around uh, if I go to 6th of March I can uh, add them um, like let's say like that yeah so you can see the season yeah you can see it right here this keyframe is the winter and here's some uh, well you can see it yeah okay i can come back to to mandy yeah but i need to be honest like this type of things like uh, uh you i can try like an or or to confirm with luminar t development team yeah. because in the keyframe i can see that that works but uh, will it play yeah, we have another question from Senka saying, can we change the synchro material? Yes. Yes. Okay. You just select the object and uh, uh, once you select it, 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 it will come up with this window where you can adjust them and there are lots of um, uh, objects available. Also, you can add your own if you want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's all the questions that have come through from the audience. Daria, do you have anything mm -hmm. that you want to I would add add one question. Maria, can we select uh, by the 3D objects tree? So, for example, that we select the same material and we do the material change at once because for maybe for roads or for, um, for materials like um, the grass, like single selection is fine, but if we go for all concrete elements, it would be easier for us, maybe like find it um, here. Yeah, you, sh you should be able to select them here mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and then uh, come up this window. If you double click, it sh mm -hmm. this window will come up. You can see I just changed this road like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you can do that. Oh, so basically, the, yeah, I, I suppose you can just press, uh, con yeah, you can select you. They they just not appeared yet. Yeah, you can do that. Mm. Any other questions? Uh, there is a remark from Sanka about uh, once you change material, it's getting disconnected from timeline. Have you observed the same, Maria? Uh, after you change the material? No, I didn't. But uh, I mean, if there is a such issue reported, I need to test it and uh, see mm -hmm. if it, if if there is a case. Obviously, uh, we need to bring it up with. Uh, um developers uh michael's posted a question can the animations added from luminati be brought back to synchro pro or is that no just for luminati no you can't but you can uh, publish a live cube from luminati that can be available to people uh that don't have a luminati license for example and they, they can play the animation on on uh, their laptops hmm. Uh, more question, uh, can we edit shadow quality from harsh to soft? Uh, I know that the new release uh, of Luminar T that should be available shortly uh, have lots of improvements with shadows. Otherwise, mm -hmm. shadows will define by your sun position and uh, uh -huh. these type of things, yeah, at the moment. Uh, there is a good question about the possibility to move, to manipulate the, the model elements. Uh, so can we, like in no. Pinto, we can use the manipulator. Mm -hmm. You can only um, manipulate the position of the objects that have been imported into Luminarty, but not like synchro uh, objects. Once it's, it's static, it's, it shouldn't. Uh, okay. At, at so the moment, no. Mm -hmm. So whatever comes from synchro, that's fixed. We should manipulate it in synchro, like make Correct. it totally in synchro. Correct. And just make sure. Like mm -hmm. cars and human and trees, this is what we can manipulate. Yes. So yes. Uh, yes. So in case Only, I yeah. import mm -hmm. the, the crane, can I manipulate it? Like if I import it in Luminarty, the crane, 
or yes, the... you can. Yeah, can. if you use uh, if you use a uh, uh, luminarity library or you import the objects, mm -hmm. then you can manipulate uh, them in luminarity. Also, uh, you can save your thing. Like if you save your file, you can always go back to synchro, make changes, and uh, then you don't need to redo anything mm -hmm. in luminarity. Mm, there, there's more questions. Let, let, let me. Okay, this was. Okay. Oh, uh, there is a question. Can we choose when we want to make appear things in Luminar T, for example, cars? So, like with equipment, we can yes. assign equipment to the task. Mm -hmm. How do we do it here? Uh, here, there is a, a certain. Uh, uh settings can you see the start time and time mm -hmm. and repeat yeah. after mm -hmm. so you can uh, delay uh, your objects yeah that so when it appears to the animation timeliner yes to the yes. Uh, yes. or to the dates mm -hmm. uh to animation animation mm -hmm. yeah. okay uh, there is okay uh, the the question if we uh, re-import a new timeline. So I think uh, Mandeep uh, means when we make an update of uh, for the model in Synchro, uh, do we need to reapply all the material and paths changes, or is it it, it stays in? It in it it it, sh it should stay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the question about the license, how much it is, then uh, you can go to the Virtuous City uh, page uh, and find uh, find it as per your country, the, the license code. Uh, yeah, I, um, yeah, I can't answer this question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got uh, Can it be integrated as a frame? Okay, there is a question. Can it be integrated as frame or otherwise on the website uh, for a customer? to like to transmit it to customers um, you definitely can can uh, can uh, share live cupid name so you share a file where you can play with it and and uh, see the timeline i mean i'm not sure about website if it can can be but you can share it as a file you don't need license for that to review so, so I think that's not a uh, mm, that, that's not a service which can be provided by sync uh, by, by by synchro or by um, by um, lumen. That's depending on the the technology use. So if someone can uh, post me, yeah, and uh, don't forget that in synchro control you have timeline as well. Mm -hmm, Obviously, yeah. you don't have this nice effect, but uh, if it just uh, to see the animation then um then you can uh, you can do that yeah mm -hmm. okay the the, uh, the the question regard changes in the i model will they be synchronized by luminar t1 sync yes that, yes mm -hmm. okay and okay is there any way to live sync synchro project um there is a sketchup plugin which can do this but i'm not sure there's any live sync option in synchro or oh, like do you understand this question i'm not fully uh, understanding this question live sync live sync yeah. like what do you mean uh Sagar, exactly by live sync uh, do you mean the, the live yeah I th yeah I it's the synchronization I right yeah. Well, it, it does draw uh, I model. Yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. to, to, um, and there is a question about English version for the latest build. Uh, someone can see only Chinese for the latest. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I, I think it's just some update for Chinese, like, but uh, it's, it's uh, obviously it's available in English. Yeah, I think I, I saw it, but it just set an update based on um, their requirements uh, in China, and the new release will be coming somewhere in June of Illuminati. I to add more information for those who uh, cannot create a, a synchro project on synchro control. 
please ask your license, your admin, your admin, your license administrator to grant you a role of connected services admin. This or co-admin, but uh, connected services admin role allows to create uh, synchro projects on synchro control. And then you have the ability to add yourself as a team member and add other colleagues with other roles and so on. So if you have Synchro for D license and you cannot create a control project, ask for the role of connected services admin. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a I think that the example of these are the best to take offline, Dara, regarding the last one. The different but versions. Uh, the versions. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, by the way, online from, so there is a, like, so it is accessible by anyone from customers team online from the link for viewing. Uh, it, it is, yes, through Live Cube share live cube it's like a file you can publish a um a file and send it it, you, it doesn't require license cloud storage too um, yeah um, so one of uh our audience uh, have joined late so the question is about the up, uh, is there any uh upcoming lumen rt uh release so yes there is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's good to time to it's good time to finish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think so too. Um, thanks, Maria, for for a great demo. Always great. Thanks. Thank thanks. I hope it was useful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much. We will have this uh, recording on construction channel, and so you can always come back and watch it. Uh, we, we we might just need to cut it a little <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. We are learning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there will be more more mid Ukrainians meeting, and one is upcoming soon. Nick, maybe you will mention say a few yeah. words about this. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And, and once again, apologies for the delay at the beginning. Uh, we have another one of these coming up with with a UK-based account, uh, Procier, in a couple of weeks, I believe. Um, I'll be sure to get our, a, a new event page and a new link, and, and and we'll start on the hour on that one. With, with, yeah, with we're experienced <laughs> now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's a great place to leave it. Th thanks again, Daria and Maria, um, and, and, and everyone tuning in. Uh, bye, everyone. Thanks.